Greetings, Saber Rights. Anonymous here. Uh, we'll continue the uh, uh, double spinning of the sabers here, um, as many of you have wanted, um, with the true be uh, double behind the back Obiani Eclipse uh, Grand Procession, all of that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, grab two sabers um, and. Uh, Let's try it out. So the first thing we got to do is we have to be able to control these sabers as good in one hand as the other. So if you have not gotten your orbits down with both sabers, stop the, stop the video right now, go back, get it done, come back, we'll be waiting for you. Okay, so once you've got both the sabers in control at the same time, let's try to coordinate them. <clears throat> so if we think about doing one orbit and then hitting something, this can be a good, a good benchmark, right? So we just want to kind of get this going here. Now, they may be a little off, you know, here, there, and the other. But what we're going to do is we just try them as kind of one thing, right? But we don't really uh, want to keep doing that for very long. Once we get this down, right, and we can, boom, like, like they're drumsticks. So we're here, we can go, boom, boom, and they both will hit the target at the same time. Okay, so once we got that, <clears throat> we can start trying to alternate them. One, going this way here, there. So we'll start one here, and by the time it gets over to here, we're going to start the other one, all right? So, there, all right? Now, <clears throat> again, depending on your level, depending on your fatigue, what you've been doing that day, and all that kind of thing, these will look cleaner or sloppier, depending, all right? But the, point, the, the important point is, is that we want to get both of them moving kind of in the same, in the same time, right? <clears throat> now this is just doing this, okay? So they're just there. Now, you can make exercises out of just doing this, you know, double, double strikes and all that kind of thing, but we're gonna kind of continue it. So <clears throat> in a grand procession, what we call the full, the full, uh, Plum blossom or spin routine or anything like that, your hand crosses your body like this, okay? Which means both of these have to cross the body. So as this one comes up here, it's going to turn off on me. So as this one comes up over here, it's going to cross like this. Now the other one has to do the same thing on the opposite side, here. Now, depending on if you're right or left-handed, you might decide differently which hand goes on top, right? So if I'm here, I can go left hand on top, or if I'm here, <clears throat> I can go right hand on top, okay? <clears throat> now, I'm more comfortable doing the left hand on top, as you can see, okay? So <clears throat> when I'm coming down here, there. I will always kind of favor that. Now that's not to say that I don't try to practice that kind of thing right here. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's not as easy as it looks. So anyway, you are going to probably favor one side. Okay, One side will be easier. Um, Alright, uh, so once we've got this kind of thing whew, going down, here. We've got a good coordination. Okay. We can try out of the sides. Okay. So obviously here. And I'm just running through these very quickly so that you can kind of see where it goes. Now if I start doing this like that, you can see where, where I'm going here. Woo. And same thing over here, okay? Now, <clears throat> before, we were doing these, okay? 
And these are essentially kind of like doing this with, a, with an extra little range of motion behind the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make two circles. We're going to be, be doing one circle up here, which comes from right there. Okay? And then as this one comes down, I go behind the back, and then I'm going to pull out and go right into that other circle. Okay? Here, there. Okay, from behind. Okay, same thing with this circle, or with this hand. So I'm making the circle up here, then I'm making the circle down there. Okay. Now where they fit in is when this one is making this circle, this one has to be making this circle. Right? So at the beginning, if you want to start here, and start going, uh, it gets a little, a little messy. Okay. <clears throat> I will usually start here and start by going with one saber out like this to do that one. And then the other one going directly behind the back and coming out from behind the back to do the same thing. And that usually gives me the right timing to get both of the circles going. So, <clears throat> again, we'll go slow. If I go up here, there, there, like that. From behind. <clears throat> like that. Okay, so it takes a little bit of work, but once you get it, just like this, the key is relaxation. Just relax, let it happen, don't put death grips on your sabers, but don't let them go. <clears throat> okay, because as you're doing two sabers, you do have a tendency to um, hit yourself and your other weapon, and thus, if you're practicing inside, you might break stuff. Okay, so <clears throat> key points. Take it slow. Try to coordinate one, boom, two. Now, going really slow is really difficult to, uh, to coordinate, but it doesn't necessarily translate into that. It's a good thing to do to kind of get the basics of the motion, but at some point you got to come through and you got to do it quickly. Okay, and it's the same thing with this. When I'm going slow, that's good because the slow teaches me where all those forces are. Right? <clears throat> Once I learn those forces, I can go a little bit faster, all that stuff. Um, and again, just like the other one, this is more of a show technique, more of a uh, fun exercise, really, really good coordination exercise. Get your mind going, get your coordination going, it really challenges that nervous system. <clears throat> okay, so uh, hopefully you'll have some fun playing with that. Uh, send us videos, come on to the forum and uh, show us what you're doing with it. We'll, we can try to give you some feedback. All right, so till next time, happy safe.